Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of this uh, study the masters series. This time we're studying another painting from Sargent. It's a portrait of Cora Smith, Countess of Strafford. For this one I wanted to focus on rendering again because that's what I want to improve the most for now. That being said, I decided to start just like the previous one with big shapes. You can see it even with background. With the background, I started with uh, just splattering some paint here and there. It's digital, but yeah, <laughs> why not use that word? And when I saw that it was okay to start the character, I started with the the character. And for the character, just like last time, I started with big blocks of paintings, painting, with um, first of all skin, and then uh, her clothes, then finally hair, and as you can see, it's uh, more like flat colors first. I start with flat colors, then add some shadow and highlight here and there. I adjust some little shapes. And also, I prefer, usually, I prefer zooming out. I stay zoomed out in order to have a better view of the overall painting. That allow, it allows me to focus on the big picture and not on the details because when you go deep into the into details sometimes you can lose yourself in it and just go on adding details until you you reach your final uh, render without even having an overview of the the composition in general and by doing that you can also miss the comp miss the composition because for example here I'm using a reference from Sargent I want to exactly reproduce what is in front of me and I must say that it's it's a good exercise because uh, you try to study or reproduce something really complicated in my case this one is was really complicated for me more complicated than the previous one because uh, it's uh, I can't find the exact word for it it's quite uh, maybe intimidating <laughs> and yeah everything in this painting is magnificent in my opinion the original one, I mean, the one by Sargent. The mood, the pose, the cloth, the lighting, everything is perfect. So, trying to reproduce it is a bit complicated. I tried my best, of course. I took my time also. I didn't want to rush things at all. And I also wanted to color guess not color pick because color picking for a study is it's not recommended you don't learn uh, how to guess exactly colors maybe if you can't uh, guess a specific color you can pick it and uh, use use it on a little part maybe just to see what it looks like and then try to reproduce the same thing by using your color wheel or color box depend on the software you're using i i use lately i use photoshop i used to use a lot krita but photoshop is also or maybe the best and yeah, that being said, I hope you like the video. Thanks again for watching. Enjoy the video. 
and don't forget to leave a like or a comment if you want to ask something or clarify something or maybe have something to say don't hesitate to leave a comment and have a great day